Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be designing a data structure for least recently used cache. Now, what does this signifies? Now, this data structure has to have a couple of functions. One is the get key function, which has to return the value of this particular key if present. And if not present, it has to return minus one. And the second functionality is the put functionality, which gives you a key and a value. You have to take this key and the value and you have to put into this cache data structure. Now, just in case the capacity of this data structure is full, then what you will do is you will remove the least recently used guy. Yes, you will remove the least recently used guy and then you will insert. Now, just in case you did not understand this, let's uh, dry run on these operations so that you get this idea of LRU cache data structure. So initially, it has been mentioned that the size of your cache is 2. The first function says put 1 of 1. So what you'll do is you'll take this 1 and uh, the value 1 and you'll put into your cache. Now when I say least recently used, what does that mean? Let's say you have four t-shirts okay the first one you did a uh, use in monday the next one you used on tuesday the next one you used on wednesday the next one you used on thursday so the least recently used guy was the t-shirt that was used on monday i hope you have understood the least recently used so over here the least recently used is one itself now the next function says put of 2 comma 2 so this 2 comma 2 will get it get into your cache why because the cache capacity is 2 and I just had one element. So I had space. So if I have space, I will enter it. Now, if I ask you which is the least recently used, obviously 1 because 2 is current, like you have just used it. So the least recently used guy is 1, 1. Now someone is saying get of 1. When I say get of 1, what did I say? You have to give the corresponding value in the cache. So for 1, the value is 1. So it will return 1. Now since he used 1, which is the least recently used guy, this guy, because you, you have used 1 now, right? Now put 3 of 3. Now can you put it into your cache? No. Why? The capacity is already completed. So in case you have to use the, remove the least recently used. 1 was used. So which one is your least recently used? This guy. So what this guy will do is, it will take it off. And then this 3 comma 3 will be inserted. Now, if I ask you now, as of now, who is the least recently used? It will be like 1 comma 1, correct? Get of 2. Do you see a 2 over here? No. So in that case, you will have to print minus 1. Now, let's come to the next function. Put of 4 comma 4. Now, does this cache have the capacity? Obviously, no. So what we will do is, we will remove the least recently used. So among this, which one was the least recently used? I can say this 1 comma 1. So I'll remove this 1 comma 1 and I'll take this 4 comma 4 and I'll put it into my cache. So after this function, my cache will look something like this. After this, I have get of 1. Now when I say get of 1, what will happen? Is there? No. So it will be a minus 1. When I say get of 3, obviously the value of key 3 is 3, so I'll just say 3. If I say get of 4, 4's value is 4. So in this way, the LRU cache data structure will be working. Now, your task is to design these couple of functions. I can do that using the naive way of using arrays and then removing it and all these stuffs, but those will be linear complexity. If you carefully think, that will be much more of a linear complexity solution. So the task is to design both these functions in a bigo of one complex. Before moving on to the next part of the video, let me tell you about Coding Ninjas. Now, Coding Ninjas is one of the largest coding education company and they have taught around 50k plus students. Now, they offer you courses in programming in different languages like C, Java, Python. They also have courses for machine learning, Android development, data science, and web dev. The content quality is exceptional as it is made by experts from IIT, Stanford, Amazon and Facebook. They do offer you one is to one doubt resolving support and the average doubt solving time that they take is, is literally the best in the market. 
Now, since the courses are really well structured and so many have benefited from it, I guess you should give it a try. And if you feel so, do use the link in the description to avail a discount, which will be added above the one which is already present in the website. So, guys, go and check it out. So, in order to implement the get and the put function of LRU Cash, we will be requiring a couple of things. One is the hash map. So, you can definitely declare a hash map. And this hash map will be storing something like a key and a node address okay so this will be for doubly linked list and the doubly linked list will be initially having a config such as a head and a tail which will be at the end you can create these two dummy nodes and you can make them uh, as a key as zero and a value as zero and in this tail you can again keep uh, the key as zero and the value as zero and this heads next will be pointing to this tail and the stales previous will be pointing to the head. This is the initial configuration of doubly linked list. Obviously, this previous will be pointing to null and this next will be pointing to null. So initially, you have an empty hash map. Now, remember a couple of things. I'm going to implement the doubly linked list in such a way that at the starting, I will have the t-shirt that was used on Thursday. After that, I'll put notes that the t-shirt that was used on Wednesday after that, I will put the t-shirt that was used on Tuesday. So basically, it's going to be in this order. Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Okay, so just remember this order. I'm going to make this order. And what will be this hash map? It will tell you when was the t-shirt used or where is the t-shirt exactly. Okay, did not understand the reference. No issues. Let's take the first operation. Put of 1, 10. Now, when I say put of 1, 10, the first thing that you will do is it will go and say, hey Hashma, do you have one? And it will say, no, I don't have one. So that means one did not exist previously. And if it did not exist, that means that's a new element that has to get into your cache. So in order to get into your cache, the cache capacity still should not be three. So I can see that there are zero elements in your cache. Okay, so cache is having a maximum capacity of three. So I can definitely insert this. So in order to insert this, what you'll do is you'll take this one comma ten and you'll insert it right after head. Okay, right after head. So let's insert it. So assume this is right after head. So what I'll do is I'll insert whatever is the key is one and the value is ten. So I insert it. The next will point to tail. The tail's previous will point to this guy. The head's next will point to over here, and this guy's previous will point to here. I basically inserted this right after head okay so put of 1 comma 10 has not been completed yet now wherever i have inserted this will have an address a node address as x so what you'll do is you'll take this key and you'll take that address and store it into your map so that you can directly access where does this key exist in your doubly linked list okay i've done that so put of 1 comma 10 has been completed now the next task is put of 3 comma 15 okay Again, the same procedure. Does 3 exist in your hash map? I see it doesn't exist. So what I'll do is, what is the size of the hash map? 1. Size maximum allowed? 3. So possible. So what I'll do is, you'll take this 315 and you'll insert it right after head into your double link list. So I can definitely insert that 3, 15 over here. So let's insert 3, 15. So I've inserted 3 comma 15 and let's assume uh, the address is at Y. So once I've inserted right after head, what you'll do is you'll take this key and you'll take this address and you'll store it into your hash map. So put of 3 comma 15 is also done. Now I'm saying put of 2 comma 12. So again, first thing, does it exist in the hash map? No. Next thing, size of the hash map or your cache is 2. Maximum size allowed, 3. So, you can definitely take this 2, 12. So, what you'll do is, right after head. So, just make sure you insert it right after head. Okay. So, whatever is the key is 2, the value is 12. So, insert it right after head. And the next, uh, this guy and this, yes. So, yeah, I've inserted it. Let's assume the address is Z. So, the key and the address goes into your hash map. Okay. So that's how you have inserted 2, 12. Now, as I said, which one, which one is your most 
recently used guy two so it's appearing right before that which was used three appearing before that one appearing understood the reference now correct so next it is saying get of three so this guy its value is what you need to give so before that you need to check does three exist in your hash map does it actually exist in your cache yes it does yes it does so i know it does exist so where is the address the address is at y so if you have the node address you can get the value correct so i know the value to this guy is 15 but 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 this guy becomes the last recently used guy or the you understand now now this guy is what you have used as of now so as i knew my direction was this of most frequently used so this guy has to come right after head so how will you make it you'll basically delete this guy yes you'll delete this guy and you'll bring it right after head yes right after head so you can bring it right after head whatever is the value 3 comma 15 you can bring it and this guy will be pointing here and here so what you did was you deleted wherever it was you deleted and then you insert right after head right now will will it have the same address obviously not obviously not because you created a new node and you inserted it so it will obviously have a new address r so what you need to do is the previous address will be deleted from the hash map and the new one will be inserted so that is how you do a get operation now again you can see that three was the last recently used guy not least last three before that two before that one so again you are maintaining the order so now let's come to the next function put of 4 comma 20 first step does four exist in your hash map or your cache no it doesn't next after that what's the size of your current cache three what's the capacity three so 4 comma 20 cannot be put because the capacity is full and whenever the capacity is full what do you need to do remove the least recently used which one is your least recently used right before tail right before tail this guy's uh, address was x right before tail is the least recently used so remove it now how will you remove it but before removing whatever tails previous tails previous key is remove it from your hash map removed next remove this guy right before tail so once you remove it you will have your doubly linked list as this so now you have made space for this four so it's time to insert this four i will insert this i'll take this four and i'll insert it right after head so just insert it right after head four comma i think that's 20 so i have inserted it so obviously this guy again will have a new address let's say s so i'll take this key and i'll insert that into your hash map so again i'm maintaining the same order four was last recently used so again maintaining the order correct so four is done so now the next operation comes get of two and when i say get of two i'll have to check does it exist in the hash map yes it does on which address z z what's the value 12 so get of two says my value is 12 but this becomes the last recently used so what i have to do is i have to take this guy out that says delete right so if you have deleted that what do you need to do is you have to insert it because at right after head because that's the last recently used guy so just insert it right after the head so the value 2 comma 12 will go right after here again this Two will be deleted from the hash map, and the new address. Let's call it as something like W. So the new address will go into hash map. So I'll repeat. You delete it wherever it was. So once you've deleted it, you will have to perform an insert operation. Since you perform an insert operation, there will be a new address for this guy. So to replace it on the hash map. So the get of two is done. Again, makes sense. The two was the last recently used. Before two, four was last recently used. Uh, before that, three was last recently used. So you are maintaining the order again. So this is how you do get of two. 
So let's come to the next operation. Next operation is put of 4, 25. So when I say put of 4, 25, I see in the hash map 4 already exist. And if 4 already exist, that means it definitely has a different value. Correct? So I need to replace that value. But before that, you just need to make sure one thing is done because now 4 is the last recently used. So wherever it is, you just delete it because it's no, it, it should not be there anymore. So you have deleted it, correct? So just delete it. Now, if this is the last recently used guy, it will go right after head. So make sure you put it right after head. So four comma, the new value, not the previous value. So the new value 25 gets in. So what I've done is I've taken four comma 25 and I put it onto the head. Now I can definitely say, it will have some different address. Let's call the address as D. It will have an address D. So I'll take this 4, erase it, erase the previous occurrence. 4 comma D is what you can insert into your hash map. So once you have done this, again I can see 4 was the last recently used. Before that 2 was, before that 4 no, before that 3. So everyone is maintaining the order and the capacity is also contained. Now, for an example, uh, next operation comes up as get of six. So when you see it's not in the hash map, there's no need to do anything. It's a minus one. If it's not in the hash map, it's a minus one. So I've covered up every possibility across this LRU cache. So I hope you have understood the concept of using doubly linked list as well as an hash map. Now, once I walk you through the C++ as the as well as the Java code, it will become much more clear. So let's check out the C++ as well as Java code.